Hey guys, um, I decided to make this kind of trash DPS with a AV that I did. And this is using a build that utilizes Conflagrate and Nightfall. I'll go over the talents one by one first. So I take um, the left side of the tree, first two tiers. Uh, Devastation 5 out of 5, Shadow Burn, Search of Reach, and 2 Serum Pain to unlock Ruin. And I go 5 and 5 and 1. I also like to go Conflag with the this hit chance thing. My gear right now is a 8% hit. That gives me another 8%. Um, the only talent you really need is Life Tap and Corruption. Um, Amplify Curse, Improve Curse of Agony. Pretty good for when you don't have to put the Curse Assign on everything. So I'll, I'll put uh, Amplify on Shift and then Curse of Agony a few times. And then Grim Reach is almost a must-have along with Nightfall. Because once you get to that tier you need those four talents complete the 19032 build. Okay, let's get to the video. I think around this mark. Um, let's see. Let me get to... Okay. So I'm going to get to this fight at Iceblood as kind of an example. Let me pause. So this is like a really low health target example. This is going to be... Um, well, actually no okay so here's how I start um, kind of a higher health target an elite mob like imagine you're at uh, a bombs and mind you this is for one target but for two or three targets I would probably put up dots on the other two um, and I'll just go over what I did exactly for this one. So I start with a shadow or immolate into a shadow bolt. Just kind of gauge where the how fast the mob's dying. And then I immediately take off that uh, immolate with with conflag into another immolate to refresh the debuff. And then shadow bolt. Shadow bolt. Sometimes I would serene pain to um, get that last bit of damage. And normally, if I didn't need shards, I would uh, shadow burn here. But I just go for the drain soul. Okay, next up, we have um, mobs that are very say, say these players are mobs that are like very low health. So you just kind of this is where you shadow burn. Um, immolate. I put a corruption on that one because it's moving away. Uh, these aren't really I'm just going over my exact thought processes here so I put emulate on this one pressure them down conflict nice crit okay tabbing and couldn't get the emulate off on that one this one gets emulate crit emulate by this time point I have a uh, I think I've used Conflag, or it got dispelled, and I Shadow Burned. Now I'm just fanning stream pain because my mana is low. And I'm also starting to take the front line, so it's causing a lot of knock knockback. So I wasn't able to get that cast off, unfortunately. Okay, now let's go to the next part of the video. Um, just to kind of show another fight as an example. Let's get To the start of the fight. Okay. So this one's looking like probably going to have a lot of targets. A lot of it's about positioning at the same time. It's like Immolate, you have to stand still to cast. Um, he's conflagged already, and he's really low health. No one else is hitting him. So I run up and get a Shadow Burn off. 
Uh, and then as I'm moving back, I hit corruption. With tabs. Important point is CC is uh, really good to have when it's available. Now this one I actually agony because I'm still trying to move around. I can't remember how I, what order I did that in, but let's let's take another look at that. So I I start with immolate, and then I agony corruption and a conflict. By that point, he's dead. Um, I get a corruption off, pop my toe up, immolate. Okay, at this point, I hit a conflict and then immolate again. Now that's a nice combo that I like to do is uh, is get the immolate off and then conflict into another immolate. That's um, like three burst damages and it also reapplies the dot. This is another immolate conflict into corruption. That finishes the pet off. At this point, um, I don't. Sh I'm not sure if I got into another fight. Also, this media player doesn't have a uh, slow motion on it. So, I'm pretty sure this hunter gets me. So, what I do in this case is there's no targets on me in range, so I kind of wait for the pet. I open with Corruption and Immolate. Corruption is just kind of the reposition move. And I switch targets as soon as I can to the Hunter and dot him before I'm dead. Um, skip. Let's see. Okay, this is a good fight at the... I think this is the point where we actually take the flag. So you get to a lot of um, pulls and necks. A lot of my favorite combos are like Searing Pain into um, Shadowburn. If it's kind of a low health target, like the uh, Kel'Thuzad Skeletons. Anyways, another one of my favorites is the Immolate Conflict. That's what I try to do a lot here. I try to get a drain drain life. This is for PvP against rogues that try to backstab. Because they, uh, they obviously can't get behind you if you're um, auto-aiming to them. I think I did a conflag combo on that guy. Into a rank 1 rain of fire. Because my mana was low, I would have done a full rank. Okay, then there's Immolate, Conflag. That's basically the bread and butter is the Immolate Conflag every 10 seconds. And when you're low mana, you want a Serene Pain. But yeah, um, there's kind of this fire rotation that you do in a shadow rotation. But I'll, before I end the video, I'm gonna go to top, top to down. Um, Rotation on like a boss. So let's get to let's skip to the point where I I think I did Galv in this video. But I think I did also cover that at the start that I kinda use sh Shadow Bolt as a filler. Well this is a good example, maybe. Okay, you just kinda shadow bolt until it's about eight seconds on Immolate. And then you can pop it off and then reapply it. That's your single target. So I'll go over that one more time. Um, just see how I started from beginning to end on that one.
Okay, so I put the designated curse and corruption. Move over, get emulate, conflag, emulate, and then back to shadow bolting. So it's about eight seconds. Pop the uh, conflag and then another emulate. And then either scorch, shadow bolt, I mean not scorch, but a stream pain, shadow bolt, depending on how much mobs health is left. And shadow burn is the finisher. But yeah, there's my guide on uh, how to do DPS kind of in trash, and it works the same in PvP. Uh, thanks for watching.